In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this ceiling shadow gap in Revit. Also, you are going to learn how you can control the height of all the ceiling elements with just one simple click, with just one volume. But before I move to that, I would like to invite you to our free training. We have over 4 hours of materials and you can find the link in the video description. So the first thing which I'm going to do in Revit will be to create two walls. So I will make our walls to go up to the second level. Let's make them 5 by 5 meters, for example. And then let's create a 3D view. So here I will turn off annotation categories so we can just see our model. And then if you take a look at this picture, you see that our profile look like this for a shadow gap so i'm going to create it and to be able to do that you have to go to file then new and we need to create a new family so for a family template i will be using this metric profile and then here you see that we have two reference planes so by the way if you take a look at our picture again at our profile we have the bottom of the ceiling here so this is the ceiling height and then we have the wall face here so this is the intersection of our two reference planes so imagine that those two lines are our reference planes and then we have to create profile here so i'm going to make it and you see that we have 60 millimeters up and then 50 to the right so i'm gonna make it Then we have 35 millimeters up and 20 for a gap. And lastly, we have the space for our gypsum board, uh, to, for, for our ceiling board. So we often use here gypsum boards of 13 millimeters. So I'm going to make this as a 13 millimeters. And at the end, we need to add just the thickness of the profile, which is 1.8 millimeters. And let's trim everything. So here it comes. You can save your profile and you can name it. I will skip that part. But you see that the name is Family One. So I'm going to load this into the project. And then in 3D view, I will actually go and I'm going to create a new sweep type. So here for a profile, let's pick this family one and then I'm going to I'm going to create two of them on a different heights. So you see how this stands. And now in a ceiling plan, we need to create our ceiling. So I will pick I can just take this 16 millimeters and I'm going to create a new type out of this one. So let's make this one just to be 13 millimeters. And then I can just make this to be 13 and I will just move this up. I don't need the structure in this case. So the 13 millimeters and then let's create it. And I will use this sketch. And then I will take a line tool. So the ceiling goes up to here and then up to here. And also we can make it to go till the ends of our wall. So take a look in 3D that we have everything on a different heights. And let's say that this one we would like to put at 2.6 meters. And then if we put this one on 2.6 meters. So imagine that you have a lot of elements like this here and you make a small change of let's say 50 millimeters. Then you, may, you have to go through all the elements and then to decrease or increase for that value. So it's not good. And that's not the way we would like to do and i'm suggesting you to do that so firstly you can select let's say wall sweep or you can select here the ceiling it doesn't matter you will see this small box here and it says associate global parameters so click there and then create a new parameter which we can call as a ceiling height and now if you go to manage and if you go here to the global parameters you will see that we have a value ceiling height and if i go apply you see that the ceiling will go up 
so it relates only to our ceiling. But if I select this wall sweep, and if I click here on this small box again, and if I just assign this ceiling height parameter and do the same for this one here, they're all going to follow. And now if I just go here and put this to 2.5 meters, you see that everything goes down. So this is a very useful tip to use a global parameters with things like this and you can create any kind of different uh, shadow gap profiles and create a new wall sweep, uh, new wall sweep types. So uh, this is a very useful tip. It doesn't matter if you're working with a small or bigger project, this is really going to help you out. And if you would like to know more about uh, the ceilings in Revit, how to make them, how to model them, just take a look at the videos from our ceilings playlist.